We are learning disturbing new details about the death of a 14-year-old boy in Fall River. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kim Kalunian. David Almond, who suffered from an intellectual disability, died last week after being rushed to the hospital. And today, his father and girlfriend appeared in court for a dangerousness hearing. They are both charged with abusing a handicapped person and a possession of a Class A drug. 12 News reporter Logan Wilbur is live in Fall River with what shocking details police revealed in court today and what city officials are saying. Logan. Kim, Mike, a neighbor told us last week this was a house of horrors. In the courtroom today, a police officer described that house of horrors, and now the mayor is saying those neglect and drug charges are not enough. Now, John Almond and Jacqueline Coleman were once again in the courtroom, and the two were sitting behind plexiglass as Fall River police officer described what he learned during his investigation. The officer says he responded to Hasbro Children's Hospital to find a deceased 14-year-old boy who's now identified as David Almond, covered in his own vomit and noticeably malnourished, estimating that he weighed about 85 pounds while being about 5 foot 10 inches tall. The officer later described an interview with Jacqueline Coleman where she says what happened. She told the officer the night of the incident, David woke up saying his stomach hurt, went back to bed shortly afterward. Jacqueline then woke up later in the evening and noticed he had stopped breathing and vomit was coming out of his, out of his mouth. Excuse me. She woke John up, who then called 911. Now, John, Jacqueline, John's mother, and the 14-year-old twins, as well as a two-year-old, were living all together in this one-bedroom apartment. In that apartment, police say they found over a 1,000 bags of heroin or fentanyl, and they say the grandmother admitted the three adults used these drugs regularly around the kids. Fall River Mayor Paul Coogan shared his thoughts on this investigation. Those people had nothing in mind but uh, a check and those kids are probably doomed as soon as they got out of that other school. That's my opinion. I don't have the facts for that, but uh, that's, that's, that was a bad situation from the get-go. First of all, six people should not be living in a one-bedroom apartment, and they don't need the three dogs either. Um, this was a string of horrible consequences that rolled together to doom those kids. And the mayor said he spoke with Lieutenant Governor recently, and he and many parts of the state are doing independent investigations into what happened because they want to find out how this can be prevented and what exactly happened to these kids. Reporting in Fall River, Logan Wilbur, 12 News.